So the principle is the same uh, for catalysis with the contact and the harbour process. So I'll just look at the contact process. I used to say that the contact process was invented by Mr. Contact, but that's not true. It's a result of contact between these gases and the catalyst. So this makes sulfur trioxide, which if you add to water, will make sulfuric acid, and that's a good acid if you want to make soaps or stabilize any chemical process, lower the pH, detergents, things like that. Okay, the catalyst is vanadium pentoxide, and it does in fact increase the rate of the forward reaction whilst remaining unchanged at the end. It lowers the activation energy, but it also lowers the activation energy of the reverse reaction. And so any extra SO3 you make will immediately be turned back again into the reactants. So that's a bit of a paradox. Why would you add something if it doesn't make any more or indeed any less of the products that you're trying to sell? And the answer is, is that the time to reach equilibrium is much reduced. So instead of waiting, I don't know, a day to reach equilibrium, it might reach equilibrium in an hour. And once it reaches equilibrium, you can apply Le Chatelier's principle to your process, force it a little more to the right using whichever stretches you need, and then you can have more SO3 and you can sell it and you can make some money.